Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your own custom Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 material inside of UEFN. Alright, so right now I am in UEFN, and as you could tell, is that there is another material that I did make a video on, and it was the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 material. Now, I do now have two materials. I have one for Season 1, and I now have one for Season 3. Now, before I show you how to get, like, all the stuff set, to create your own season 3 material first I'm gonna show you what it will look like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into creating a new material and I'm going to apply the season 3 landscape right here and create it next to the season 1 now as you can tell is that it's gonna take a little bit to load and there we go look at this so it actually does look very similar to the one in game so I just sculpted over the season 3 material and as you can tell is that it looks exactly like season 3 and I can go and smooth it right here and as you can tell, it blends in very well. And look at that. There's even like sand in the middle of like kind of like the cliff right there. And look at this. I'm going to kind of keep smoothing it out. I'm not sure why this map lags when I smooth it out. Maybe because there's so much stuff. But as I slowly smooth everything out, it blends perfectly. And it actually looks very clean and looks very realistic. So here is the paint that I've created for this Season 3 material. So here is the first layer. It's kind of like the brick, like, I'm not sure where this is on the map, but this is one of them. It kind of smooths in, blends in very well, and it looks pretty cool. Next, we have kind of like this brown dirt. Um, it looks very, like, kind of sandy in a way, um, but as you smooth it out, it looks very, very neat. Moving on, we have another kind of brick thing. This is actually for the mountain, so as you can tell, if I put it right here, I can kind of just cover up the sand and I can also smooth it out and look at that so we can kind of like remove some of the sand that goes in the mountains by using this paint look at that it just covers up all of the sand that you can even put it on top kind of and kind of make it look like just an entire mountain and we can kind of smooth it up on the bottom and look at that there is no more sand in the middle of the mountain that is actually pretty sick and can be very useful while we're using this material so moving on we have layer four this is kind of like a dirt road now it doesn't look too good, but if you kind of like, maybe do like a little path like that and kind of smooth it out. It doesn't look the best, um, but that's really, that's really the only thing I could really find to kind of, you know, substitute this layer, which is layer 4. Moving on, we kind of have like this dirt grass type of thing that is on the map right now. As you can tell, it looks pretty neat. You have like kind of this grass with dirt and cracks too. We can also smooth this out. It actually looks very, very neat when you smooth it out. Look how clean that is. And this is actually can be used in a lot of ways. Moving on, we kind of have like another brick stone thing with cracks in the middle of the things right there. So we can kind of smooth this out. And then we can smooth it. And look how neat that looks. Now we can also put this on the mountain. And it actually blends in very well. As you can tell if I put it over, kind of like the mountain kind of looks... It kind of blends in very well. You can even see like cracks too. And the cool thing about this layer too is that it actually fits in with the apocalyptic theme as you can tell with all the cracks and it very blends in very well. So yes, there is the cliff right there. We have all of the layers on the left and this is everything right here. Now, before I show you what to do to get everything just like mine, what you want to do is that you actually want to join the Discord server because that's where I'll have every single texture that you'll need to get all the layers, the cliff, and the base looking like this. Alright, so I just went into the material. Now, as you can tell, I have all of these settings right here. It's actually not a lot. It's actually, I think, a lot less than what it was for the previous one for Chapter 5 Season 1. But also, you're going to need the textures. So once you've downloaded every single texture that I have placed in the Discord, and the channel will be the Bypasses channel. Now, I know I've talked about the Bypasses channel in almost every video like this, and other videos that require codes and stuff like that, but you're actually going to need level 1 to get in the server. Now, getting level 1 is actually official. Now, once you get level 1 by chatting, you will see the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Texture Channel. Go into that and download every single texture that I have placed in that channel. Every single texture that is in the channel is something you will be needing. So, once you've downloaded everything, it should have the same name as it does for me. So, let's start up with the base. Now, I did change everything from the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 material. If you do have that, the only thing I'd really do is duplicate it and then change it according to the settings that I have right here. So, instead of me talking over every single setting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play a montage of me scrolling down the settings.
Now once you have completed the material, make sure to let me know what you think of this material down in the comments. We can actually click on each layer and change the physical material. All right, so once you click on layer one, you'll actually see some of the settings right here, but the only one we really wanna focus on is the physical material. Now what the physical material is, is basically how a player interacts with it, how it interacts with it when it walks over it. So we can actually set it to anything right here from cave rock, dirt, generic, glass, grass, ice, lava, metal, sand, snow, water, and snow, wood, and stuff like that. So it's all like these materials right here, but this is actually kind of like a cave rock. So all we want to do is set it to cave rock and save it. All right, so the second one is kind of dirt. So we're going to set that to dirt. The third one is kind of like another rock thing. But instead of setting it to another cave rock, we can actually probably set it to stone maybe. So layer five will be grass. No, not glass. So that should be grass. And probably layer four probably could be just another cave rock maybe. And then layer six will probably be another cave rock too. So what we're going to do is that we're going to save all these. I have them all right here. So once you've inserted every single physical material into each layer, all you want to do is save it and then just cancel it out. So I just completed inserting a physical material into each layer. Now what I'm going to do is launch a session. All right, so I now am in game and look at this. So I'm going to be flying over to the season three material that I just created and look at this. So as you can tell is that when I walk over it, it's going to have different sounds and that's because I changed the physical material of each one so I'm gonna walk over this now it actually may not work yet it should work on this one as you can tell it's kind of like a harder a sand to a kind of stronger stone kind of sound right there this is another one I think is pretty cool we can actually probably like lower the scale of how this looks using the material here is another one a kind of like stone I think it looks pretty sick now when you've probably if you ever create a game using this material um, it should look just exactly like Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. It even looks pretty cool with the fog that I've got, um, for some reason. But look how sick this is. And it even looks very well blended, even in-game. Um, it even looks pretty cool too how I kind of brung the mountain down and kind of have the sand kind of go up a little bit. You even have the rock right there with the cracks in it. I'm not sure if that's every paint that I've, like, put in the map, but it's still pretty sick seeing this in the game. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe.